Hi everybody, Chris here. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really well. Today what I want to do is take a bit of a deeper dive into the odds calculator. It's the thing you've probably used already. It's the thing you use to work out your bets. There's a few different ways you can use it and there are more advanced versions of the calculator on our website too. But I'll say first of all that you don't actually need to know what every single little feature of the calculator does before you get started. If you remember from our earlier tutorials, we basically tell you which number goes in which box and we do everything in quite a simple way. Uh, and that's pretty much enough for you to know in order to make profits. But I wanted to make this video because I see in our Facebook group that people occasionally ask more specific questions about certain features of the calculator and I thought this would be a good way to go through things in a little bit more depth and also show you a couple of features that maybe haven't been mentioned that much in a general tutorial. So let's take a look at it now. The odds calculator, it appears in a few different places in our website and you might see it appearing slightly differently depending on whether you're on a mobile or desktop or where you're looking at it. So we have it here within the main members area, which you can get to with the odds calculators tab here or the odd cal odds calculators button at the top here. Um, you can also get it for free on the blog. Uh, and we did this because people quite often search for a match betting calculator and this is a good way for them to find one quickly. Uh, this one is styled so that it's mobile optimized. So if you're using our site on the mobile, this is the calculator that you'll see here, but you'll see that it has all of the same features and uh, all of the same um, functionality as on the desktop one. And the third place you'll see the calculator is actually on the odds matching software. So when you go ahead and click the I button on an event, it'll bring up more details you hit match calculator and this is the calculator that you probably have been using that auto populates all of the event information into it. It has exactly the same functionality as the other calculators, uh, but the layout is just slightly different. And that's just because of how the software was coded. Um, the appearance of that may be changed in the future. So let's take a look at all of those different functionalities. The first thing we get is the bet type normal free bet SNR, which means stake not returned, and free bet SR, which means stake returned. So using your own money, you select normal. Using a free bet where you don't get the free bet back included in your winnings, so that's the stake that you put down is say a £10 free bet. If you don't get that back when you win, you select stake not returned. But with some bookmakers, you also get the free bet back as part of the winnings and that's great because you make even more money from those. Uh, they're not that common um, but they do exist so you would then select free bet SR stake return. So let me just drop a few example figures in here before I go on. The back stake is the amount that you're placing with the bookmaker traditionally um, so let's put that as £10. Uh, the back odds are of course the odds of that back event happening 2.5 say. This back commission box here, it's something that doesn't come up very often, but you would use it when you're making a back bet on an exchange. For example, exchanges sometimes do offers where you have to place a back bet on a team and you're qualified for something. So Matchbook did one a little while ago and you actually, instead of placing a lay bet on the exchange, you took the back side but of course, because you're using the betting exchange, there is a commission that comes into effect there. So we would perhaps put this as 2% or 5% depending on the offer and the exchange. Don't worry too much about that because if it comes up, it'll be mentioned in the specific offer tutorial and it will all make sense there. Um, but it's just a feature there that is sometimes used um, but pretty rarely to be honest. So we'll keep that at 0% because a bookmaker, they won't charge you commission to place a back bet with them. Uh, some example lay odds here, say 2.7. And then of course this lay commission box, this is the percentage of your winnings that an exchange will take 
when your bet wins with them. We've set it at 5% by default because a lot of members use Betfair when they get started. It's one of the best exchanges in terms of liquidity, one of the easiest to use. Uh, but say you're using Smarkets, which is currently at 2% commission, you just change that to 2%. And you can see that that actually uh, will it re either reduce your qualifying loss or it will uh, increase the amount of profit that you make if you're using a free bet. So once your figures are in, the calculator will generate a result for you. And I'm not going to go into these numbers because you can find out more about them and what they all mean in different tutorials. But one thing I'll just highlight, always make sure that you've got your bet type set to the correct thing. Uh, because as you'll see, this is set to normal. For example, it's mimicking a, a qualifying bet that I might place with a bookmaker. If I go ahead and change that to free bet SNR, then I'm then looking at a profit of £5.38p uh, because I'm using a free bet as opposed to doing the qualifying bet which at these odds would be a small loss of one pound and three pence or one pound and four pence. Um, and the main thing that changes is the lay stake here. So that's 9.43 for the qualifying uh, and much, much less 5.66 for the free bet. Um, so essentially it seems like an obvious point, but the figures change depending on which bet type you select. And that can be something that people do occasionally miss when they're first getting used to all of this. One thing I haven't mentioned here yet is the mode function on the calculator. Now this is by default set to simple mode and this is where 99% of the time you want to keep it. But there is a feature called advanced mode and what that does is it brings up this little slider here which you can adjust, you can move it left and right to do what's called an underlay or an overlay. Now, that's a topic that I'm gonna go into a bit more in future videos as it's a bit more of an advanced topic. But essentially, what it is doing, it's changing the respective amounts that you have to place at the bookmaker and the betting exchange, which will change which outcome you prefer. So normally the calculator, it tries to balance everything as much as possible when it's in the simple mode. And that's kind of the essence of what match betting is, right? We try and place two bets which cancel each other out, leaving a really predictable result. So you'll see here, if the bookmaker wins, then your position will be that you lose one pound and three pence. If the exchange wins, it will be that you lose one pound and four pence. So those are pretty close. Like there's a penny difference in them and that's just probably because the calculation works out that it should be three and a half P or something. But of course we don't have half pennies so it gets it as close as possible. But the, with the advanced mode and the underlay and overlay, you can change this so there's different outcomes. So say I go to the maximum overlay position here, what that does is it means that if the bookmaker bet proves true, then I'll lose two pounds and 61 pence. And if the exchange proves true, then I'll only lose 16 pence. Um, and what you can start to see here is different opportunities to create different types of outcomes. So we still get a guaranteed result, but we're preferring one outcome over the other. So that can be useful in a variety of situations, and I have seen it used to make using a free bet more interesting uh, when people are doing an advantage play or something along those lines, because then you sort of prefer one outcome over the other, um, and you can increase the amount of the free bet that you win. So for example, say I'm using this 10 pound free bet, at the moment it's completely balanced and it'll be a £5.38 profit no matter what happens. Say I wanted to play around with that, I could lay more at the exchange, which would mean that if my lay bet wins, then I'll actually make £5.91, whereas if my bookmaker bet wins, uh, I'll still make a profit, but it's not as much as I otherwise would have made. So if you're kind of confident that a certain thing is going to happen, like the lay bet is going to win at the exchange, sometimes it's worth overlaying it because you're going to potentially lock in more of the profit. 
going back to the odds matcher and the calculator there that's built in, you switch between the simple mode and the advanced mode with this button at the top here, and then you can slide up and down there. I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Sometimes it's useful just to go through each bit of the calculator in a little bit more depth to really help you understand it and to get familiar with the tools and the platform that you're using. Uh, please let me know in the comment below if you have any further questions or if you found that useful, perhaps any tips for other users that you found when putting the numbers into the calculator. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to Profit Squirrel for the latest in match betting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.